from threatening to beat Drickus Duplessis until he's black to having multiple UFC fighters back him in a potential showdown, Israel Adesanya is bent on locking horns with the South African. Let's kick things off with his controversial vow to destroy Drickus. After a stunning victory over rival Alex Pereira at UFC 287, middleweight champion Israel Adesanya is in the spotlight as he gets called out by fighters left and right. It's been the usual suspects so far, like the undefeated Hamzat Shemaev, Paulo Costa, and Robert Whittaker. But Drikas Duplessis has been doing an excellent job at teasing the Nigerian. He started by questioning Izzy's legitimacy as an African champion, since he's never taken the belt home. Duplessis also threw Kamaru Usman into the mix, but his comments hit Adesanya hard. When I say hard, he literally wants to beat Drikas until he's black. When reporters said his name during a press conference, Izzy was this close to losing his cool. He made all sorts of controversial statements, like how he plans to drag the 29-year-old's carcass through South Africa. If it does lead to a clash inside the octagon, the last style bender has vowed to take him back to school by torturing him inside the cage. This beef has taken a really ugly turn. Izzy doesn't just want to make a point inside the octagon, he wants him to pay for his comments. It's gotten to the point where Izzy has issued an ultimatum to UFC boss Dana White. While Duplessis is set to take on Robert Whittaker for his next appearance inside the octagon, Israel has already decided who he's going to fight next. He's just hoping the 29-year-old is able to deliver, since Whittaker happens to be one of the toughest contenders in the division. But if he does end up winning, Adesanya has already talked to the boss about setting things up. Whether Dana is interested is a different story, but as of right now, it definitely seems like the perfect fight to have. Want to know what's interesting about all this? Drikus was already on Izzy's radar. The last stylebender was actually looking forward to new challenges since he's already put away the entire division, or in other words, he didn't have to question Adesanya's legitimacy as an African champion to get a fight. There was already a strong possibility of the bout happening sometime in the future. But because of his nasty comments, Izzy claims he's dug himself into a hole now since he's about to get exactly what he wished for. I don't know about you, but I find it absurd that a fighter ranked 6th in the division is trying to dictate a world champion. If a shot at the world title was what he wanted, then all he had to do was ask nicely. It's not like Israel has ever shied away from a challenge. Provided Duplessis lives up to the hype at UFC 290, a bout against Izzy is definitely in the books. But how would that play out? It all depends on whether he can go the distance. Every time Drikas steps inside the octagon, he's panting by the end of the first round. Forget Adesanya, I don't think he'll be able to get through Whitaker. But let's suppose he manages to pull off a miracle at UFC 290 and earns himself a golden ticket. What then? How would he fare against the last stylebender? It's going to be a nightmare for him, because he doesn't have the stamina to take on someone as durable as Izzy. When you compare their fighting styles, Adesanya has a natural edge. Since he's a tactical genius, he'll probably hang back and let the 29-year-old tire himself before going to work. It wouldn't even be a close contest, mainly because of the contrast in their styles. How Drikas performs at UFC 290 against such a seasoned fighter will be a trailer for a potential matchup against Izzy. There's no denying Whitaker hits much harder than Adesanya, but he also happens to be a brilliant strategist. Once he notices how Duplessis has an empty tank by the end of the first, he won't be forgiving, as a brutal knockout would put him in the driving seat for a shot at Adesanya. I'll stick to what I said earlier. Drikas is about to get more than he originally bargained for. But then again, he does have a really impressive resume. Fighters and analysts can throw all the shade they want, but the truth is, Duplessis means business. With 21 professional fights under his belt, he has won 19 of them, with 8 being knockouts. He also happens to be a former middle and welterweight champion at the Extreme Fighting Championship so he isn't exactly short on experience. Considering how he's been smashing his opponents at the UFC, there's absolutely no doubt he has the skills to become a champion someday. But the man standing in his path isn't exactly an ordinary fighter. He's wiped out an entire division, 
And if that isn't intimidating, I don't know what is. In case you don't believe me, remember when Adesanya lost the title to Pereira for a couple of months? Middleweights were actually stoked because a change at the top meant they had a chance of becoming champions again. But as soon as Izzy won back the title, their championship hopes were crushed. Robert Whitaker, Paulo Costa, Jared Cannonier, Yoel Romero, you name it. They've all tried their luck at beating the last stylebender, but it's never worked. Despite having all the necessary skills, along with a super impressive resume, I'm not too sure whether Duplessis has what it takes to conquer the mighty Nigerian. But trust me when I tell you this, Dracus will go down kicking before he gives in to Izzy's scathing threats. After being threatened by one of the most dominant world champions in the history of the promotion, he remains unfazed. In fact, the 29-year-old issued a warning of his own after challenging the last stylebender to put his money where his mouth is. All those comments Adesanya passed about dragging his body through South Africa or schooling him inside the cage, Duplessis is unconvinced and wants Izzy to do something about it instead of making empty threats. Just like Israel has already hit up the boss demanding a future fight against the rising superstar, the South African has a plan of his own as he aims to become the first African champion to bring it home. He wants to fight him this year in Africa, and after he's finally put him away, he plans on facing him again in a rematch in Africa. I won't lie, I like the way this kid thinks. He's ambitious, he's hungry, and most importantly, he's aching to become a UFC champion. I get that he's not intimidated by anyone, but it's always good practice to be a little cautious at the promotion. Adesanya has a track record of punishing every single one of his adversaries. And if Duplessis keeps up with whatever he's doing right now, I think fight fans might just see Izzy tap into beast mode again, as he looks to extend his second reign as the middleweight champion. Finally, what do the pros think about this matchup? It's been rather embarrassing for Drikas so far. Almost every fighter in the division thinks he'd get whooped by the last stylebender if they were to ever dance inside the octagon. Former middleweight champion Alex Pereira came out in support of Izzy, calling a fight between him and Duplessis a total massacre. Pereira doesn't think the 29-year-old will make it through Robert Whitaker. The former Brazilian middleweight champion thinks Duplessis might just end up being the easiest opponent Izzy's ever faced. And the reason is simple. Stamina. Considering how Adesanya is an expert at going the distance, Drikus will be nothing but a sitting duck in the later stages of the fight. I'm not sure if you've thought about it, but see how the entire feud actually favors Israel? Just think about it. The last stylebender is continuously fueling the fire, because his chances of making history are greater against Drikus. If Whitaker ends up winning at UFC 290, which chances are he probably will, it'll be a tougher matchup for him. Maybe that's why Izzy's been hitting back so hard every time Duplessis even mutters a word about him. So, from having longtime rival Alex Pereira pick him over Drikus to wanting to smash his face until it's all black and purple, these were some reasons why Adesanya is demanding to fight the South African.